Hello guys, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to share with you my what's in order. I didn't even think about what I was going to say. What I am taking as carry on for my kids on holiday. What's in my flight bag for my kids? Basically, we travel quite a lot with our kids. I've got the baby here. He slept for four hours today and I decided to wait for him to wake up to film this video. But yes, we travel quite a lot with kids and every time that we do, I get so many questions like, can you please do a video on what you take for your baby on the flight and what you take for your toddler when you're in the hotel and all stuff like that. So I thought that I would start doing more kind of travel helpful tip videos. I've already done my five must have items for traveling with kids, but this is specific to a flight bag. Although it could be fine for like car journeys, ferry journeys, any kind of traveling, but it's just your kid's travel bag. So if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I have three boys, my stepson Reese, who is four, my son Jasper, who is three, and my other son Jensen, who is 11 months now. The bag that we are taking is this. It's called Flight, F-L-O-I-T-E, and it's a suitcase scooter. So it just looks like a normal little kind of carry-on sized suitcase. This here turns into the scooter handle, and then here, whoo, <laughs> is a scooter. It is absolutely incredible. We only got it on our last holiday. We went to Turks and Caicos, which was a long journey. There was lots of kind of walking around the airport and walking to the gates and then from the gate to the airplane. It was so, so useful. Even if it's a short haul flight, this kind of thing is brilliant. And we even used it around the hotel, kind of going to breakfast and to the pool and we just put all of our pool and beach stuff in here. The other option is the boys both having a backpack each because then they've got their own things in the bags. So they feel all grown up taking them and it means I don't have to carry anything. Okay, first up, and this featured in my five must-have travel items for kids, an iPad. This has actually been in the flight bag yes. since we got back from holiday last time, which was about two weeks ago. So he doesn't use it a lot at all. And to be honest, he didn't really use it on holiday that much. It's just there, just in case, to give you a bit of peace of mind. Make sure that it's charged up before you go. Bring a charger if you know you're gonna be there for a long time and load it with lots of age-appropriate games and movies and TV shows, whatever you're gonna need. And then if they are getting a bit antsy and a bit, you know, toddler tantrum -y. you can just stick the iPad on. We got a really cool case for ours. It can stand up like this, stand up like this. It's just really easy for them to like swing it around <laughs> like you tell them not to. It's really good and it protects it as well. But yeah, an iPad I think is essential. And of course, if you've got an iPad, make sure you also have headphones. These are from Amazon. They're really cool. They're like little alien ones. Jasper absolutely loves them. Sometimes on flights they do give out headphones, but I think it might just be long haul. I'm not sure. That's the ones that they give out, the little inner ear ones. And if you've got a young child, young children like I have, ones like these are just more comfortable for them. And then I've got some more kind of entertainment things. So I've got Funny Faces sticker book. These are just kind of blank faces. And then you've got lots of different facial stickers and they're re... I always go to say resealable, reusable, so you can do it over and over again. It's just like a nice mess-free kind of crafty thing for them to do. I also got this 100 things for little children to do on a journey. They've got an older one, but it's quite difficult, whereas this one is a lot more age appropriate. You get 50 cards and they're all double-sided, like so. They're wipe clean, it comes with a little pen so you can use them over and over again. Some of them are still a little bit difficult for Jasper and I think they would still be difficult for Reese, who's four. But for example, this one here says, what's that? Can you imagine what this boy can see? use your pen to draw it so you can just draw anything and then there are ones like this follow each route from the seeds write the letter in the leaf to find out what's growing here so that would be a little bit more difficult kind of following it down and copying the letter I think Reese will probably be able to do that bunny twins so matching them decorator hats so ones like those are really really easy so yeah it's good if you've got kids of different ages that's a good one just make sure that you've got two pens if they're going to want to do it at the same time and that was from Amazon as well and then when we went to Turks and Caicos I got this but we never used it and it's the Magnetisk Puzzle, magnetic jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I'm trying to read the, it's from Tiger, Swedish. I don't even know where Tiger is. But yeah, it's a magnetic puzzle, which I think is really good for when you're traveling because it's less likely to fall apart and drop and lose bits. And then something that we always do is have a little kind of surprise treat for the boys. So whether it's a grab bag, um, like a little mushrooms, you know, those things, like a Kinder Egg style thing, something like that. So that if they're arguing or tantruming or anything like that, you can just say like, oh, I've got a surprise. And it just kind of makes it a bit more exciting. You could tell them beforehand so that you can kind of use that as bait as you go. Like, oh, don't forget, once we're into the journey, you can have your surprise and it'll kind of keep them going if they're getting a bit antsy. Um, and 
and I've just got these Sainsbury's Lego cards and it's just a nice surprise. I don't know what cards they're going to get. They don't do anything with them. It's just the excitement of not knowing what's in the pack. So yeah, when the time is right, they can have the hose. And I always let the boys choose a few bits that they want to bring with them. So this is what they've chosen. A little kind of man figure. I don't know who it is. The Joker maybe. A fidget spinner because what kid doesn't have a fidget spinner at the moment? And a Batman. And that's it for the boys entertainment wise. I have thought about taking colouring books with me before but then I don't want to have to deal with crayons or pens or anything rolling off the aeroplane tables and it's just too much of a faff. I have taken those magic pen books, you know where you have a pen and it's clear so that it reveals the picture when you rub it on the paper or the one that kind of makes like a rainbow, it's like foil and when you rub it it makes the picture from behind. I have bought those before, I think this is enough, we're only going for four days, it's only like a two maybe three hour flight so I don't think we need any more than this. And then on to the snacks, my boys are big snackers so I made sure bring lots. I have two packs of little bear paws. They're 100% fruit and they don't make a mess and yeah they're just easy to eat and the boys love them so they've got a pack of those each and then they've got a yo-yo each which is the same kind of thing it's 100% fruit but it's like in a roll like those winders. Jensen's right by the tripod <laughs> and so yeah it's a pack of two so they'll share that between them and that's it for the big boys. This is the first fight that I'm not bringing a change of clothes for them. Normally I'd bring a spare pair of pants and then I think that then I need a spare pair of trousers and then what if they spill something I need a spare top and I need spare socks and a hoodie if it's cold then I just think we're having a heat wave here at the moment it's going to be hot where we are we're not flying in the middle of the night and airplanes aren't that cold people always say they get cold I never get cold and I think it's such a short flight if they do spill something I mean I just We'll just be careful. They've never been sick on flights before. Knowing my luck, this will be the first time. Yeah, they haven't had toilet accidents for so long, so I'm gonna wing it and see how it goes. So, on to the baby. Jensen, like I said, is 11 months old. So entertainment-wise, I've just got a little material book. It's just one of those ones that can like attach onto a pushchair. So it's got like a scrunchy thing, but it's not too noisy. And then he's also got this little rattle, which thinking about it now might be too noisy. He's not really into toys anyway. He'd rather just be crawling around and looking around and exploring, but I kind of feel like I have to bring something in case he gets bored. And then it's very boring and practical things. So we have got nappies and wipes, just one packet of wipes and three nappies because it's quite a short flight. If we need anything before, there'll be a shop at the airport. There'll be something the other side. I'm taking enough stuff in the suitcase when we're there, so that should be enough. Nappy bags as well. A bottle. This will have some water in, enough to make up his bottle, and a powder pot, which again will have enough powder in to make one bottle. And if he's starting to get a bit antsy before we go on the plane, I'll probably just grab one of the like pre-made ones just to take on the airplane, so we've got a spare. Cowpole and a syringe. That's all I'm going to take kind of medicinal-wise on the flight, because I just think at the airport they have stuff. On the flight they'll have things, like if one of the kids needs a plaster or... I mean, Calpol pretty much solves everything, doesn't it? And then I'll do these quick because he's trying to grab at them. Just some snacks. So he's got some Kiddylicious Blueberry Wafers. They don't make that much mess and they're really easy to eat. Hang on! And an Ella's Kitchen pouch to get some fruit in it. A little pot with some biscuits in and some raisins. So all kind of relatively mess-free, easy to eat. Things that will hopefully keep him going. And then a water bottle for Jensen. I'm not bothering with water bottles for the boys because it's just too much faff and it's going to be too heavy and they have to be poured out anyway. But I'm going to need this for the holiday anyway, just to kind of take round by the pool, whereas the boys will drink from cups. And finally, a spare vest for Jensen. I know I said I wasn't bringing clothes, but that's just for the bigger boys. I'm not going to bother taking like spare trousers or socks or anything like that. But it's hot here at the moment. It's going to be hot where we're going. You know, so the chances of him being cold and needing anything more than that are quite slim. So that's it, that's what I'm taking. I feel like this was a really long video and it was only meant to be a really quick one, but I'll try and condense it down. Like I said, it really does vary if we're having a long haul flight, short haul flight, if we've got all three boys with us. Obviously, if we don't have Reese, then we just have slightly less like, snacks and entertainment things. I just kind of double it when he's here. But yeah, it's pretty much always the same kind of thing. I hope you found it useful. I hope it gave you some ideas. He's grabbing at the tripod, so I'm going to finish this now. Please do give it a big fat thumbs up. If you like this, comment below and let me know if I've missed anything, if there's anything that you think you need to have that. I'll link anything below like the scooter suitcase and anything that I think you guys might want to find. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!